I'll try. I'll try to make it. I, I'll try to make it shorter. Uh, Pasolini, with his way of dressing and this way of fly always outside, like a, like a like a teddy boy. Which I don't know if you remember this word. He was provoking uh, uh, his colleagues, intellectuals, going in their apartments at 10 o'clock at night with us, with this bunch of guys, of young guys, adolescents, adolescents. And, um, and the thing was that all these people knew me because they knew my parents. Mm -hmm. So they were looking at me like, oh my God, what is he doing? And Look how they are dressed. Were, were who they were. Ah, that's a long story. Yeah, so... Too long. And anyway, we, I was born in that milieu. I mean, I was born in that milieu, but I was born also in the street. I understand. This, this mm -hmm. is my... That's important. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. This is the key of my life. Mm -hmm. I was... Um, you could uh, bourgeois, both I was bourgeois yes. and I was really. And Pasolini the same? Or he was no, he loved that in me. Oh, okay. He loved that. He mm -hmm. loved because he was saying to the audience, when he's with you, it's just like you. But I know the guy speaks, uh, he's from a bourgeoisie, mm -hmm. he speaks many languages, mm -hmm. he's completely different, looks like a little prince. Mm -hmm. And this one, the uh, Nineto Davi will say he's just like us. He speaks the same language you speak, meaning the same things. Then, what he is when he's not with us, I don't even know. So pa Pasolini was going nuts <laughs> for that, and this made our relationship during during 15 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, but to come back to this kind of provocations, he was building we were traveling into this beautiful apartments of great writers or actors or directors they were looking at us like oh my god where where are they gonna go out look how they're dressed oh my god look david what are, what are, what are they doing and he loved them he loved mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. because he was showing them the difference the difference to be really in the streets, really a fighting man for some truth and some justice, or to be just a bourgeois and a sofa. And this is why everyone hated him. Even he's, he's been betrayed by everyone. He was everyone. successful in one way, very successful as an artist, but uh, people didn't like him because of his views. Right? So, of his views, uh, because of his uh, ideas, they didn't like the bourgeois people. No, the problem is that Pagiolini told me one unusual thing. For the system. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. he, he would be unusual even today. Mm -hmm. There's no way. Because he was someone saying, he, he said that to me and I learned that very, very early. And he said to me, think always with your, with your mind never say okay this is water have a look at it yes it's water don't take Check. nothing for granted yes. nothing for granted you think of, because they want you to think, think something so try honestly to think something but that that is generated from you, from your culture, from your experience, from your life. Every time. This is a, like a gym. But this is what he told me. The most important thing he told me. So, someone like that, yeah, it's wise, mm -hmm. but it's incredibly revolutionary. Because no one, no, there's no power that will allow that. Because they would say, uh, how many are we? 150 million and everyone thinks with this brain oh my god this is not gonna work 
just it's a great privilege. I mean, you have to fight for that because it's a great privilege. Because no one will allow you to think with your with your brain. True. So it's complicated, and he knew that. But mm -hmm. that was. I mean, I, I've never seen someone like that. I don't know if there has like been that? some. No, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. I mean. Oh, maybe yes, but I don't count. I mean, I'm not puzzling. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm saying uh, uh, great talents. I mean, p great, ma great mm -hmm. people, Are great men. I'm a, I'm a whole dynamic man. Uh, I have six children. I mean, I have my life. Of course, he taught me that, and it's a sort of curse. I'm like that, and I'm gonna be like that. But he did that for others. I'm not doing. Yes, I'm doing a movie. I'm writing a book. It's different. And it was this really movie fighting. that was stolen in the movie, in your movie, uh, the, uh, the movie of Pasolini was stolen. Yes. In yeah, the, the negative. Yeah. Uh, is it somewhere? I mean, is it public? Is it somewhere? Yeah, yeah. It came out. It came out. It came out. It came I out. was and working. Book that he was writing. Too? The book, yeah. Oil. Oil. oil, 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 oil has been. I heard that oil has been published here in Russia, oh, very like three months ago. Ah, three yeah? months ah, ago. Yeah. No, it's no. Three no. Month, yeah. no. Uh, different. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, three months ago. It's maybe. a strange book. That, if you will understand mm -hmm. oil, chapeau, mm -hmm. <laughs> because oil, the re, because also oil, it's complicated. But the the, 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 the the ultimative, the last version of oil is this. Mm -hmm. And it's not a novel, it's mm -hmm. not an essay. You don't know what it is. Uh, I've been going nuts what oil is. And in the end, oil is um, a reportage, an incredible reportage about Italian situation. Ask me a question, otherwise yeah, I'm going to go. Yes, one, I can one speak question. for ages. Yes. Uh, in the movie, this is very clearly understandable that people are using drugs uh, and very oh, yeah. important people for the movie, uh, for, this, for the story, yes? Yeah. And so, uh, what's, I, I suppose you know about this, you research this manner, and do you think that? Uh, their further actions were affected by this uh, drug addiction. Absolutely. This is why there's... Uh, first, I'm talking about a specific drug, which is cocaine, mm -hmm. which is the worst drug of all, because the cocaine, they used to say at that time, it's not a drug. It's mm -hmm. something like coffee. It's like, like a great coffee. Mm -hmm. And it's terrible because Cocaine, it's really a fascist drug because it makes you think that you are un that you are the strongest on like earth. Like Nietzsche. Yeah, yeah, but it, I mean, Nietzsche was intelligent. But <laughs> if you take a stupid guy ah. like those people, he thinks, oh, I'm ah. the king of the world. You know, that kind really? of stuff. And this drug arrived in those years in Italy and changed completely, it changed the situation. Because these gangsters were not gangsters. They were little things. They were, you know, poor people. I, I knew these people. I, I was, Pasolini was meeting that people. I was meeting that people because, you know, how can I say, innocent thieves. You love it. A writer, a journalist loves innocent thieves, little thieves, people like that. So we saw that people becoming monsters. monsters and this has really changed also because through the cocaine they went in touch with important people political people actors jet set oh, people uh, yeah in the uh, uh, but, but yeah and they at one point those people said we own rome it's the same people of Gomorra, if you want, Romanzo Criminale. You know, we, we have a lot of television and cinema about those criminals. The mm -hmm. stupid thing is that these films and TV series, Italian, they describe these people 
like if, like if they were Scarface, they were American gangsters. No, it's not at all. And they were poor guys that through the drugs, they thought they were incredibly strong, you know. And this has changed the criminality in Rome. Because the criminality in Rome was for very know. big effort. And then, yes. yeah, it yeah, I changed everything. Mm -hmm. So this is why there is a lot of cocaine in the film. And I've been showing how this affected but everybody. It's not LSD, no? No, cocaine, no, LSD. <laughs> LSD, you know, it's beautiful because you Russians, you don't know very much about drugs. <laughs> because at that time you had no drugs. LSD is different. LSD uh, is, um, <laughs> is the drug of the, the drug of the hippie. Mm -hmm. And it's, an, it's the drag of the freedom and of the craziness of that freedom. No, cocaine is really a fascist drug. Like, uh, you, you have to face that guy, and that guy is big, take some cocaine, you will punch him. I mean, it's fascist, absolutely, it's terrible. And, uh, but it changes minds a lot in a way, like you're more violent and more... Uh, you, you, you lose feel empathy, you, lose empathy, yes, lose, yeah, like, you, straight away. It's, um, it makes you think you are a hundred times stronger than you are. And when I say think, you don't think anymore. You only think, this is good, this is good, this is good. And all the people of the, of the city, of the market, uh, the, the, the London city, uh, the new reach, the oligarch, it's all cocaine. Mm -hmm. You can see that. Yes. It's all and cocaine. Because cocaine makes you think. Of, the city, yes? of course. And, but in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm saying in the world. Ah, in, in the no, world. Not Here, in, the movie, in America, everywhere. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those people, those financial people, they're mm -hmm. full of cocaine. They're full of cocaine that they make you think. You know what I earned today? I earned five million dollars. Ah, cool, isn't it? Completely fucked up. Completely fucked up. And the drug helps a lot. These people think that they're the strongest in the world and that they can do everything. Anyway, just wanted to tell you and end with this. I had such a special relationship with Basil. Mm -hmm. And I never been his fiance. I never um, went to bed with him. But maybe I would have said yes if, if he was asking me. I don't know. I don't know. I can yeah, well I mean I mean sex is sex is something different. I mean I have nothing against homosexuality, never had nothing. You have problems here, but we have problems in Italy also. The, 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 the word is kind of homophobic, but homosexuality always existed. It, it's sold uh, like heterosexuality. All the artists, from Michelangelo on, they were all homosexual. But it's not, I mean, a gossip. It was real. They were showing up that, you know. I have nothing against that. But he loved me, not having sexual relationship with me. Because he was, I was always fighting. Always. And he was, oh my, every time he was saying something important, I was thinking with my brain, I'm thinking, no, he's wrong now. <laughs> so I went, but, and, and sometimes he, he was bored, he would say, oh, you don't understand a thing, how come that? But he loved that, he loved to be challenged, because it's important to be challenged. You grow up, even a grown up now, you, 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 you never have to uh, give things for granted. You always have to, you know. Is it still a glass of water? No, it's a half glass of water. I mean, you always have with to lemon. focus. <laughs> with lemon, yeah. Um, you always have to focus on reality. All right. Thank you very much. much. <clears throat>